Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel to another episode of Darkfire Heroes and today we want to look at the wave attack. That's another special mode for the big events at the weekends and I'm hoping to see again this mode at the upcoming event, the Caravan of Souls part 2 event, which is going to start this Friday. So we will look at the mode itself about the tactic which you can use in the light of this mode and we will go over all the heroes and their tiers so which hero will be the best one the worst one and why they are the best one and why you should use these heroes to get the furthest progress so thank you guys for tuning in again really appreciate your support you are amazing and if someone else is new here just hit that follow button and don't forget to subscribe for free to my channel let's start with the mode last time it was here it was called wave attack and the um, level itself was called Outpost Ambush and as you already can see on the screenshot and in the gameplay in parallel um, you have a starting wave and next target wave so whenever you start the level it costs energy starting with one energy later on it costs five energy and you complete or need to complete five waves one after another but slightly they are not that one after another sometimes um, they overlap a little bit so it can get really hard for you you're fighting against these waves with five heroes which are staying mm, not on a plateau but on a specified area and they will not move away from that uh, position except you have jumpers like Oto they will still jump straight into the face of the enemy but um, you most most likely your heroes will stay there first of all you're yeah, like in a in a V cluster with one hero in the front which will be focused by the enemies but that does not mean that the other ones cannot be attacked there are some causing aoe damage and some focusing other heroes but in the first position there will be your tank so he needs to be there for tanking purposes to tank damage beside that it's quite good to use another healer maybe single target heal to heal up your tank or a crowd heal to heal up all your units and the other three should be um damage dealers to kill the enemies but you of course in the lower levels uh, your your tactic for sure can differ from that so what should we now look about uh, first of all we will look now at the tier list as you already know yesterday we looked at the best boss fighters today we are looking at the best heroes for the wave attack mode and first of all as usual a disclaimer this list is based on opinions and for sure, your opinion can differ from that. Uh, the list is created by several people from Diablo 2. Thanks a lot for providing this list and making it public. Really nice. It helps us a lot to, to choose the best heroes for the modes. But we need to understand why we are choosing these heroes. And I didn't even get all the points. So sorry if I forget one. But uh, we will do our best to all together as a community. So if you have a different opinion, just write in the comment section. And we just can all learn from each other. So let's start with the list. Starting on the first position with Mana S plus. That's the best rating. S plus. Uh, after that, you will see S going down to A, B, C, D, E, and F as the last uh, rated and the worst heroes for this mode. Mala, fire damage dealer from the rarity rare. And you all should know her as she's causing insane amount of damage and is a really good unit to use. She is causing magical damage and with her ultimate attack she has the ability to critical hit the enemies and she is doing AoE damage so she is causing damage in a specified area straight line causing this fire damage and that is really really insane and you can combine her with freezing spells or freezing abilities uh, to even do further damage when you unlocked her skills. So that's why she's definitely S+. Plus. Furthermore, she's a ranged hero and inside of that mode it's quite good to have ranged heroes as some enemies are only melee fighters so you can even attack them before they reach your position. As next we have Fena and I've never played her before but Fena is a healer from the air element, a common card and she is really really nice to use here inside of that mode as she is causing magical damage as well, a ranged hero. Okay, that's not the main uh, thought why she is really, really good here. She can create in an area a healing ability called Healing Wind. And as your units are all staying like a V in a small area, she can heal all the heroes inside of that area. And she's perfect to use here with a really high amount of healing. I think even that's the highest amount of healing for an area. 
as next coming to Luke and you all should know him as well. Luke is another um, air unit or a unit from the element air for sure he is not flying but he is a tank and from the rare rarity he is causing physical damage in a melee area or as a melee fighter in a small area so directly in front of the enemy and he is s plus because of his ultimate power where he creates an hour the enemy is uh, causing less damage 50 percent less damage and the enemies are taking inside of that area small amounts of damage but is insanely powerful against larger group of enemies if you have no aoe ability ready in the time in that moment he can kill some of them even the damage is not that much uh, furthermore he can taunt um, but as he is the tank he will be staying at the first position but with the taunt as his third skill um, the enemies will focus him even more and you can heal him so that he can tank a lot and with his aura he's um, locking down the enemy's damage so he's perfect to use inside of that mode coming as next to Lurs. Lurs causing physical damage as a ranged fighter with the range of 620 and that's why he's really nice here and the next two you can see there as well with the 620 range he can attack the enemies really really early causing a lot of damage um, and if you have even some some nice items in at him he can cause of course further damage he's from the water element and is a common card which you all should know and this is ultimate power he's firing three spears at the enemy and knocking them back a little bit what should help you here at this mode as well coming as next but his main purpose is for sure the damage per second as next we have Ariel, the best single target healer in the uh, game, not much more to tell uh, as your um, first hero is the tank and is taking the most damage. For sure it is nice to single target heal, um, even Fena is really good as well. I prefer Aul because I've leveled up her and even I think for, for beginners Aul is better to use here when you have a good tank. S rating as well, magical damage with 620 range. Um, as you all know, she's a Earth uh, hero from the common rarity and the healer, as I already told you. Coming to the next one, that's Jose. Jose is especially good against larger groups of enemies, and um, we all know it. He's causing AoE damage with his ultimate uh, ability, where he even can cause critical hits. But he's causing physical damage, besides from from Mala, which is causing magical damage. But as in these wave attacks there are enemies with high protection against physical and high protection against magical damage you should has, have some some magical and some physical damage dealers here in your team he's a damage dealer as i said from the fire element and a common card as well causing insane amount of damages and with his skill he can even build up the damage when he kills some of the enemies uh, with his ultimate power the damage of his auto attack increase coming to Metos and he is an epic card the first epic here real nice tank and that's why he is here really good to use for sure as well as he is from his stats really really nice he has a real high protection and um, with his skill he can heal himself whenever a teammate of you is critical hitting he has the 50% chance to heal up slightly so he can has even the ability to to tank even more with slightly healing and that's combined with with uh, healer is really really insane and i really like metos inside of that mode here and um he boosts your defense and protection or his um it's his own defense and protection so you can tank even more so that's really really nice that's the third skill called fall on friends when an enemy becomes vulnerable so you need to have that uh, ability somehow metos defense and protection increases cool on five seconds maximum trigger six times and six times that's on the highest rank eight plus percent de defense and eight plus percent protection that is just insane 48 percent more protection and defense 
real beast here. Coming to the last hero here, Rihanna with ES rating causing physical damage as well. Uh, by the way, Meto's epic card from the dark element. Rihanna from the fire element, a rare card. And she's a supporter. My Meto's was a tank. Um, Rihanna is quite interesting that she has that good rating. I've never played her before, so maybe I, I'm missing something. But he, she has the ability to pull one enemy closer to all your, your heroes. That may be a really good reason here, as she can pull enemies from quite a long distance. And whenever she she has unlocked her all the all the all the uh, skills with the core skill, and when she is causing a critical hit, she stuns the enemies around her area. So she has the ability mm, a little bit similar to old uh, to to auto but auto jumps in whenever she hits critical she can stun the enemies inside of that area which should even help you to 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 lock the enemies and cause with the other heroes further damage so that's all about the s plus and the s ratings and as next we will look now at the other ranks starting with a and b plus so these heroes are still really good to use inside of that mode if you don't have um, the heroes with s plus or s rating are ready to use as for sure the main aspect where you should switch your heroes is the level if you have a level 25 b rating hero it might be better to use him instead of a level 10 s plus rating hero for sure we have there is an a rating Alexander, Niena, Liang and Sefina and Alexander, really nice to use and I think most of the top players or a lot of top players from the last event from the highest bracket have used him causing physical melee damage really nice to use epic card we have Niena, Liang and Sefin there all for different purposes Niena causing damage Liang for protecting with the shield which is really nice here um, and as next we have the B plus rating with Dair, Kuiji Adeline, Manuel, Sao, Ezer and Ellen. And I think Adeline hmm, will be maybe a hero I can use for a single target damage, but that's depending on the level. I have leveled her to 7 or something like that. Um, because the waves consist of larger heroes with a smaller amount and more heroes with uh, less, less strength. So you need some AOE damage and single target damage and Adeline is really good. But I think I have my team I, which, which I will use here. We will see that at the next event whenever the mode is there. Manuel, Sao, Eir and Ellen completing the B plus rating. And as you can see some melee champs here and a lot of um, 620 ranged heroes here. Coming now to B rating. So we are slightly getting worse here but they are still good to use. Um, with Dagmeier, Makas, Raul, Tomoni, Filippo, Eseppe, Beza, Jentrik, Raivet, Lorenzo and Montes. And you can see some of them might, might uh, you, you would rate them maybe better. Um, but I think it is, it is quite, quite good. Dagmeier can be quite solid here. But as he using here a tank and a healer and three damage dealers, Dagmeier might be one one hero too much which is not causing uh, or which is not mainly a damage dealer um so it she she can be good boosting with with her rage when your teammates critical hit but i think as another supporter and only two damage dealers you might missing some damage here that's why i would not prefer her and getting to the c rating so we are getting even worse here we have the katarin even she has the ability to um, yeah, that you have lifesteal ability whenever she causes her heal power. Uh, but as I said before, we need damage here. We have uh, Asashi, Mingzu, Jarden, Imani, Kromon, Hagen, Kare, Hilga, Sen and Marte. And as you can see here, uh, Marte still not a good healer. <laughs> that's, that's sad to see. Maybe she will get a slight buff in the future. As next DD rating, so now definitely not to recommend anymore, as there are so much heroes which are much better at this mode. We have there Salva, Sasha, Herlin, Yuld, Vana, Eremi, Nuru, Leon, and Raim. Um, Nuru, for sure, this is Tornado. In Tornado, he could help you, but um, I would not personally, I, I don't have him, so I cannot say if he is good or bad, but I think he deserves the D rating in this. He, there are mother. There are much other modes where he's really nice to use, especially for Shuri Castle. And now 
as we already talked about it. Yeah, that was the D rating. Now at the E rating we have Yera, Kamin, Jabari, Tonio, Bjor and Cruzo. Even Cruzo is a tank, not the best one. There are much better ones to use. That's why you should not use him. And one thing where I need to ask why he is there is Call, as he has the worst trading with F here. And he's a melee damage dealer. For sure causing AoE damage. But if you compare it in a direct level, there are much better ones to use. Even that I will use Call with the F rating as I have leveled him up. That's what I told you. Your level is the first thing you look should look like. Then the build up of the team. Or maybe first look at the build up of the team is uh, having at least a tank. Um, not only damage dealers that will not help you that much. Only you are a god on level 20. Uh, all heroes on level 25. But even there you need a tank. Um, then look at your levels. That's why I will prefer a call instead of some other ones here. Um, instead of level 1. Um, um, Vienna for example. I don't know. I don't even have her. So that's why he is there with the bad rating. Furthermore, Elsie, Varga, Diane, Levani, Oto, and even in the first time I played the mode, for sure I have used Oto, a worse tank, uh, so not too good to use here, and with the jump ability it will not help you. So that's it for today. Furthermore, one recommendation if you have it is Mykonitir enemies are focusing this unit and you can put some AoE damage. So that's it for today's video. Hope you liked the video. You can write your opinions straight inside of the comment section really like to see your opinions and i hope you've enjoyed the video if yes thumb up and we will see us again in tomorrow's video about darkfire heroes tomorrow is thursday and the event will be revealed we will talk about it tomorrow so see you then